So in my magazine on page 27, I featured a new ring that I just redesigned for Suzanne, actually here in the Sioux City area. And I just really, this was a fun project. It really made me think outside of the box. So she had three different rings that she inherited from her mom. And so we wanted to take out all the diamonds and she had so many diamonds, like not just a lot of diamonds, but big diamonds. So we took half of the diamonds, made it into a necklace, and then the other half was a ring that I featured in the magazine. Um, so we started with kind of the initial sketches and ideas of what she wanted to make for the new ring. She said she wanted something comfortable, classic, and you know, nothing gaudy. She's a very simple type of person. I should say simple taste type of person. And so with my sketches, the first one that I did was very simple. Um, it's kind of like a safer design that I created. I knew that she would absolutely love it. And then the second idea, I kind of pushed the limit a little bit more on design, kind of got her a little bit out of her normal comfort zone. Something that was just, you know, something unique. And then the third design that I created was something that was completely out of her comfort zone. I didn't know if she would actually go for it. I knew it would be a really unique design. Um, but after reviewing all of them, she actually went with the third one, with the one that was really unique. So I was excited to get going on it. Um, so we removed all of the diamonds from the three original rings. And like I said, these were big diamonds. Um, so we set the main diamond in the center and she wanted something that was, you know, not gonna catch on everything, kind of a lower profile. And so I actually had the gold wrap around the diamond and then we set it up just a little bit so the diamond still sparkled quite a bit, but it was smooth, it was comfortable, and she didn't have to worry about wearing it every single day. And then we just added some of the smaller diamonds kind of as accent pieces. But the really cool part is, this is where I told her, I'm like, trust me, this is gonna look so cool because she had some baguettes and it's like, what in the world do you do with baguettes? So then we took the baguettes and we set them along the gallery side of the ring, which was kind of like around the main diamond. And it was perfectly smooth into the gold, so it wasn't sticking out or anything, but it was like a really nice feature that she saw whenever she wore the ring. Um, so I'm, I'm really happy with this design. Because like I said, she really went out of her comfort zone of what she originally thought, but I, I told her, I'm like, just kind of go along with me, see the sketches, and then when we did the 3D computer model, that's when it was like, we were both really excited to see the whole piece. So. Yeah, with the redesigning, I just really enjoy doing um, this whole process because it's it's really pushing my my creativity, um, pushing the limit on design because it's trying to remake something that you already have, but trying to make it look elegant, beautiful, and definitely not gaudy. And so the the great part is where I can always I can like see how jewelry looks right now, but I can envision how to make it better, how it could be. So um, yeah, make sure to check out the magazine, like I said, on page 27. So Sue, if you are watching this, it was an honor to work with you and I know that you are enjoying this.